Good afternoon, kids. It's Lily and JoJo. We're here to read to you for Read Across Central PA. What's the book? The book we're going to read is Cave Kid Birthday. Who's it by? It's by Kathy Bystocker. You up for a story? Let's go. All right. Oh, help if we opened it up. Thanks, JoJo. This is how you open a book. <laughs> High tech stuff. All right. Cave Boy and Cave Girl were born on the same day in side by side caves. In no time at all, they became the best of friends. Every year they celebrated their birthday together, and every day they played hide and seek, searched for shapes and clouds, and raced their pets. Eventually, Cave Boy discovered that he loved rocks. Shiny rocks, rough rocks, stacking rocks, and building rocks. He showed his rocks to Cave Girl and taught her to play Stone Toss. Cave Girl discovered that she loved something too. Tools! Pointy tools, wide tools, planning tools, and painting tools. She showed her tools to Cave Boy and taught him to create masterpieces on cave walls. Look at that. Look at the masterpieces. You see that? Oh, yeah. Soon, it would be their birthday again. Need a gift for Cave Boy, thought Cave Girl. She made a rock statue, but Bear ruined it. She painted a picture, but it was stuck to the wall. So she went to Caveman's Collectibles and peered inside. Uh-oh. There, she spotted the perfect gift. Box for Cave Boy's rocks. Make trade, asked Caveman. Trade, said Cave Girl. Have nothing to trade except... Tools. Caveman probably said it like, Make trade! <laughs> Make trade! Make trade! Ten tools for box, grunted Caveman. Would you like to... Ten tools for box! Ten? ten? Asked Cave Girl. Me only have ten. She paused for a moment. Bye-bye tools, she said. Cave Boy will love gift. Meanwhile, Cave Boy was busy thinking about their birthday, too. Need gift for Cave Girl, thought Cave Boy. Need gift for Cave Girl! He made a rake, but Mammoth ruined it. He painted a picture, but it was too heavy to move. So he went to Cave Man's collectibles and peered inside. There, he spotted the perfect gift. Box for Cave Girl's tools. All right. <laughs> Meet, make trade, asked Cave Man. I trade. Trade, said Cave Boy. I have nothing to trade except rocks. Twenty rocks for box, grunted Caveman. Twenty, asked Cave Boy. Me only have twenty. He paused for a moment. Bye-bye, rocks, he said. <laughs> Cave Girl will love gift. The day before their birthday, Cave Girl and Cave Boy jumped up and down. Can't wait, said Cave Girl. Open presents now, said Cave Boy. They tore off the wrappings. Yes. Cave Girl bit her lip. Cave Boy scratched his head. Me traded tools to get rock box for you, Cave Girl said softly. And me traded rocks to get toolbox for you, said Cave Boy. What now? asked Cave Boy. They thought for a minute and began to play. The boxes were just right for playing hide and seek, searching for shapes in clouds, and racing their pets. But eventually, Cave Boy missed his rocks, uh -oh. and Cave Girl missed her tools, too. Right. So the next day, they headed for Caveman's Collectibles. Need rocks for Cave Boy, said Cave Girl. Need tools for Cave Girl, said Cave Boy. Make trade, they asked. Trade, said Caveman. For rocks, we clean store, said Cave Boy. For tools, we paint store, mm. said Cave Girl. Ta-da! Me like, said Caveman. Trade good. Would you like to be the caveman there? Trade good. I sound like Cookie Monster. <laughs> a little bit. Birthday good, said Cave Boy. Birthday very good, said Cave Girl. Good job. The end. There you go.